Jeff from Bobcat here. Today we'll cover how and when to change the fuel filter on Bobcat equipment using a Tier 4 Bobcat brand engine. Always wear safety glasses when performing maintenance, and work gloves are preferred for many procedures. Be sure to allow the engine to cool before doing service. And always use genuine Bobcat filters to ensure you get the proper protection. Clean the area around the fuel filter. Place a suitable container under the filter to catch any fuel. I'm using a drain pan and some plastic to catch the fuel and reduce my cleanup. Never disconnect the hoses as this could contaminate the system. Disconnect the sensor wiring from the filter. Open the drain until it drops from the bowl and drain the filter. Retighten the drain. Use a filter wrench and turn the filter head counterclockwise about 15 degrees, just enough to loosen it from the element. Loosen the clamps holding the element and remove it from the mount. The clamps must align with the slots in the mount when you go to reassemble. Turn the element counterclockwise. Finish unthreading it from the filter head. Heavy resistance is normal. Never pre-fill the new element as this could contaminate the fuel system. Lubricate the o-rings on a new element with clean oil. Install it on the filter head and hand tighten. Position the clamps back on the filter assembly. and the clamps back over the mounting bracket. Before finishing tightening the clamps, position the filter approximately 15 degrees counterclockwise from the final position. and finish tighten the clamps. Using the filter wrench, final tighten the filter head. If needed, loosen the clamps and adjust the final position. Reconnect the sensor wire. Next, we'll remove air from the fuel system. This is important to avoid unnecessary wear on the high pressure fuel pump. Place a shop towel around the filter housing to catch any excess fuel. Use a hex wrench, loosen the vent cap, three full turns, squeeze the primer bulb until fuel flows out the vent with no air bubbles. We'll tighten the vent plug.
and then we'll wipe any excess fuel from the filter head and the filter. Start the engine and run for about a minute. Then stop the engine and check for leaks at the filter.